left off our discussion of the Apostles' Creed with the fact that we're broken and that God was going to do something about that. And the second article of the Creed is the lovely punchy list of all the things that God did about that. Uh, we are reminded that Jesus was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, and from thence will come to judge the living and the dead. We get all of that good stuff that Jesus did to work redemption, to work salvation for the entirety of the world. And that is very good, and we're going to get to the redemption stuff. But I want to talk about the thing that the thing that we often overlook. We often act as if Jesus's earthly life didn't start being important until he turned thirty. Like we talk about the time he ran away from his parents in the temple, but but we often say we often act as if his incarnation didn't have any importance until he started doing miracles. And the reality is that to live a perfect life, he had to live the perfect conception and childhood and teenage years and young adult and full adult. He had to live all of that perfectly. He had to do all of those things. And what that tells us about ourselves is that even though we are born in sin, we are born in iniquity and in sin that our mothers conceive us, we are not dirty and broken and disgusting enough for Jesus to not come dwell with his people. The incarnation is about God coming to his people in a different way than he had before. Emmanuel means God with us. And Jesus comes to be with his people. He lives the perfect life from his conception to his death. And in doing that, he redeems all of these mundane activities that we do. And so when we are fulfilling our vocations or just eating and drinking and crying and sleeping and all of the things that humans do. We are doing them with the full knowledge that God did not decide that these were beneath him. He took on all of the things that we do in love so that he could enact salvation for us. The incarnation changed everything and it's hard to fully encapsulate everything that it did because it is such a divine mystery. But remember that Jesus took on human flesh, the same flesh that you and I have now. 